Hey everyone, it's Domi. Welcome back. Today I have a memory spread for the week of March 23rd through the 29th. I'm using Right Brain Paper Co.'s You Grow Girl kit, and then I pulled in a lot of gold foil from Scribble Prints Co. and some sidebar scripts from Kinsey's Creations. So this was a TV heavy week for me, as all quarantine weeks have been, if we're being honest here. But I watched Containment, Ozark, and Tiger King. I saw Containment trending on Netflix, so I thought I'd rewatch it. And I'm so mad because I watched it and really enjoyed it when it came out a couple years ago. But then it got canceled after one season because no one watched it. And that's such a bummer because there was definitely a lot more story to tell there. But then the second we're in a global pandemic, people want to watch it. <laughs> But if you haven't heard of it, basically an epidemic breaks out in Atlanta and they instate a cordon sanitaire. Okay, that was really obnoxious. I'm sorry, but I'm French and pronouncing it cordon sanitaire just physically pains me. <laughs> but they create a militarized border around part of the city, no one in, no one out, to try to contain the virus and stop the spread. And there are quite a lot of parallels with what's currently going on. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check containment out. So then Ozark season three also dropped that week. Ozark is easily one of the greatest shows of all time. It's just perfection. The best way to describe it is Breaking Bad, but with money laundering instead of meth. The storylines, the writing, the acting, the cinematography, just everything meshes so well, and it's kind of a perfect show. And I know this is inflammatory and controversial, but at this point, I think it's better than Breaking Bad. And the final scene of season three just solidified that. And I knew it was coming, but just seeing it play out was just chef's kiss. No spoilers, but it's juicy. And then, of course, Tiger King. Nothing really needs to be said about that because we all know. But it was one of the wildest rides I've ever been on. And just when I thought it couldn't get more bizarre, I was proven very very wrong but like honestly they're all trash and like I really just don't know how Doc Antle isn't in jail right now but okay um but again the memes have just been god tier and we again proved as millennials that we do our funniest work during the biggest times of crisis and it was all just a really welcome break from everything going on with corona all right, I'm out of time, so I'm going to pop back over to live mode. All right, cool. So that is the base of the spread down. I'll quickly go over everything that I put down that I did not go over in the voiceover. And I layered some hexagons from saucy stickers co so i just used the full gold foiled hexagons layered with the tan color from the neutral hexagon sheet and then the computer icons are from right brain paper co and then the work from home scripts are from letters to apollo so i think that is pretty much everything so i'm gonna hop into the day by day now so um before work on monday um i got up a little bit early and for me early is like 11. <laughs> so i had a really nice morning tea session um out on the deck with my little pup so the tea bag icon is from Right Brain Paper Co. And then the morning tea script is from Ice Cream Joe. Okay, so just so the spacing would look a little bit better, I moved that box down. And I'm just going in with a heart flourish from Saucy Stickers Co. That night, I binged some containment on Netflix. So I'm going in with a half box and then a TV icon. And then I'm using a third box just to put in that I placed a 
Kroger pickup order. That is a script from Right Brain Paper Co. And then this little grocery icon is from My Spoiled Planner. Okay, so moving on to Tuesday, I had another super relaxing morning tea session with Coco out on the deck. So I'm just putting that in the same way that I did on Monday. And then this was super inflammatory, but definitely necessary and understandable. But Big Brother Canada got canceled because of the coronavirus. So I'm just marking that in with the house circle icon and a Big Brother Canada custom from Suddenly Stickers. And then I'm just using a canceled script from the kit. That night was Shit's Creek, RIP. Um, I have a whole spread dedicated to that coming soon and I will go over all of my thoughts in that video, but I'm not okay. <laughs> Y'all need to check on your friends who watched Shit's Creek because we're, we're not okay and we're not gonna be okay for a while. <laughs> I watched more containment and more Tiger King. So I'm marking that with a label and a Tara from Pumpkin Paper Co. You're not even in frame, I'm so sorry. Um, and then I'm just going to pop a flourish from Nicole Alexia Designs right there. Moving on to Wednesday, um, I started the day off with a really, really good iced coffee. Um, it's the same recipe that I make every single day. Um, so I don't know why it was so good that day, but it was just really hitting the spot. So I'm using an iced coffee script from Kinsey's Creations. And then the coffee cup is from My Spoiled Planner. Wednesday was our grocery pickup day. So I'm going to layer a my Spoiled Planner grocery icon over a Saucy Stickers Co. hexagon. And then, okay, that spacing is a little off. Hang on. Okay. All right, that's a little better. And then the pickup grocery script is from Right Brain Paper Co. And there's definitely a cat hair stuck in that. So let's all ignore that. <laughs> and then um, Wednesday night we had a game night. So I'm using a half box for that. And then a game night script from Kinsey's Creations. and a game night icon from Saucy Stickers Co. And then I did some filming that night, so I'm just gonna mark that on a label with a circle icon from SPC, and then a film script from Kinsey's Creations. Um, and then I watched some more containment that night, so I'm just going to mark that with a hexagon and then a TV icon. Okay, cool. So that is the first half of the week down. Thursday, um, I had to do all of my PIMS and do all of my account follow-ups that day because it was my three-day weekend and I was going to be out of office until the following Monday. So that push pin is from My Spoiled Planner and then I'm going to go in with a Work Pims script from Suddenly Stickers. Okay. So, sorry if you can hear Zoda Pop jingling. Um, I put her collar back on, so she's very jingly now, and it's the cutest thing ever. 
Um, so, Thursday night I had a really nice, really relaxing bubble bath. So I'm using a Tara from Pumpkin Paper Co. that absolutely does not match this kit, but um, it's super cute so I wanted to use it anyway. And then I'm just using a bath script from SPC. And then that night I also did some editing. So the edit script is from Kinsey's Creations and then that's just an icon from SPC. Moving on to Friday. It was payday, so I'm going to mark that in a box with a payday script from Sticky Essentials. And then, oh, I think I uploaded a haul that day. And this is an upload script from Kinsey's Creations and this play button is from SPC. And then I'm going to use another flourish from Nicole Alexia Designs. Right there. We of course played games, so I'm going to use a half box and then um, a games night script from Kinsey's Creations and then another game night icon from Saucy Stickers Co. Okay, so this was the night that I finished Tiger King, so I'm going to mark that in with a skinny label and then a TV icon. And then that night I also had a TikTok binge, as you do. So I'm marking that with a hexagon and then a piece of mini bow deco from SPC and then a TikTok binge custom from Suddenly Stickers. And then Saturday I did laundry, so I'm going to mark that in with a label and a laundry script. Also that day, I had to order my dad's birthday presents, so I'm gonna use that with another label and a gift circle icon from SPC. And then I'm gonna go in with another bow flourish from Saucy Stickers Co. And then that night, Michelle, um, one of my best friends, if you're new here, and I show clubbed the first couple episodes of Ozark season three. So basically when we show club, we just um, watch a show at the same time and live text each other our bullshit opinions on things. So um, I think we watched three episodes Saturday night. And then that night we also played games. So I'm just marking that the same exact way as I have been all week. Moving on to Sunday, I started out the day with some planning. So I'm going to use a box for that and then a push pin from my spoiled planner and a planning time script from SPC and I also did some filming so I'm going to mark that on a label with a circle icon from SPC and a film script from Kinsey's Creations and then that night, Michelle and I um, finished Ozark season three, so we watched the final seven episodes in one sitting, and it was glorious. But yeah, ugh, Ozark is so, so good. If you don't watch it, you need to. It is compared to... Breaking Bad a lot, except with money laundering. 
and I know that it's a bold statement, but um, at this point I think that it's better than Breaking Bad. All right guys, here is the final spread. I think it turned out so, so pretty. I love this art, I love this color scheme. Like this kit in general is just a 10 out of 10 and I love how this spread turned out. So as always, Thank you so much for watching and hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my Instagram as well as these shops and any PR codes I have will be listed down below. And if you would like to take a second to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, thanks again for hanging out today and I hope I see you in the next one. Later days.